so we're out exploring today. Um, we're on some state land. This is the area that um, used to be a lumber mill, and we're gonna go exploring. Um, I've done a couple magnet fishing videos in this area, but this is all state land. Um, there's a building up there, and we're gonna go across the way. We're just gonna stand on the road and look over at that building. This is all private land. We're not gonna go on it, but we'll take a look across the road so you can see it. So this is the closest we're gonna get. Well, we'll get a little closer to the edge. Um, but yeah. First comes the thing to my mind is I wanna go exploring in it and detecting it. But yeah, that used to be part of the lumber mill. See, that is just one of the coolest buildings. And you can see part of the other building up there. We're gonna go explore this one because this is all state land right in here. Like I said, that's private. And you can see the other building there. So yeah, we'll go explore. So we could have parked here, but we parked down the hill. Sorry, a little winded. But yeah, we'll go. Look in that building there. So the lumber bill was from the 1940s to um, 1922. And I don't know if you could see that. So this building is from 1923. And Right there it says um, the name and then the year. And it's put in with, you can see a person's finger writing, but yeah. Isn't this cool? It's really pretty in the early spring. Been here a few times. It's like an old chair or something right there. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna go in it, in it but We'll go explore some, but yeah, this is cool. I think it was a two storage building. So two story building, storage, no story. So yeah, it's really neat. Whoa, <laughs> they don't slip. Sorry, it's a little icy here. But yeah, you can see I'm parked down in that clearing there. Let's get into the basement. And this goes all the way back. We're not gonna go too far back. Just because I don't feel like going that far. You now we magnet fished down the river here and found a couple of things that belong to the lumber mill. So they would cut down the trees and just float them down this river. So we'll go explore that area in a moment. And this is the back porch. And I don't know what this little room was because you can see it's not with the other part. So, yeah. And you can see it had a door hinge right there. This might have been where they kept the money, I'm not for sure. But yeah, this is a great old building. And that's the back end. Let's go see um, if we can 
get anything magnificent from the old sawmill, lumber yard, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, the river is high. As you can see, it is a wide river. Um, the people fish here, <laughs> obvious signs. Um, we were here one, a few times here. Um, there's a dry hydrant, so the fire department can um, draft. It looks like somebody's been here magnet fishing because you look closely, you can always tell people have left their crap and we got to do better. I'll come pick these up. But yeah, people have been here and just left their crap everywhere. Let's go check out the other side. Beautiful, calm area. Um, they have pulled a body or two from this river in this area. So, yeah. And way up the hill there is the buildings that I've shown you. So let's go get our magnet and let's go get it wet. I was picking up other people's crap that they left. I found a little bullet casing. If you know what kind it is, let me know. Sorry about that. I was on a phone with a very dear and wonderful person. Um, found some kind of spiky doohickey with some wire around it. So yeah something in this area. I think the best part of this area is when I got here, I seen two bald eagles. And of course I didn't have my phone out so I could take a picture because I was driving. But yeah, this area is really pretty and very quiet, which I love. Let's pull up, see if I got anything. And I got, Part of a fence. You can tell by that piece right there. I forgot to say this. I don't say it in the videos enough. Um, I use a Kratos magnet and if you want a Kratos magnet, um, go to kratosmagnetics.com and use this code MJ12 for 12% off purchase. Get yourself a good magnet. You can get ropes, you can get a starter pack. Um, for brand new people, I like the clamps the clamp sets which are awesome so yeah so I didn't find too much on that throat this is kind of interesting looks like somebody's using this um, bolt or not I should say as a sinker for fishing line that's kind of cool and I got some other fishing stuff on it so and a nail or two you guys get to watch me struggle with something heavy. I tried to pull it up earlier and I'm like, I need to record this. <laughs> it's down their ways and this thing is heavy. Nice piece of metal, and I'm using the Artemis, which is a 2400 pound 360. Oh, look, and I got a little hook right there. So, yeah, it's a good catch. 
up. And I freshly chipped my magnet here and there, lifting that up. But this is what happens sometimes. But this is why we always wear gloves. Rusty, pokey things. So I just went fishing on the bank and caught this stuff. Come on, people, we gotta do better. Let's not throw our trash in the wild. Let's recycle it or throw it where it belongs. Just don't drop your crap anywhere. Make this world last because that's all we have. One world for lots of generations. Let's make it better. There's more trash down here. Let's see if we can get it off, off the side. I think that was a direct hit. Oh, this is um, crap that people have gotten and they've dropped it. This is magnet fishing stuff that they've left. Oh, like the chair. Come on, people. Don't leave it. If you pull it out of the water, take care of it. Just don't leave it for other people and don't throw it back in the water. What's the point of magnet fishing if you're not going to clean the environment? I'm going to take you on the other side. <laughs> but first I have to go get my magnet because I left it back there. So I guess I'm just going to follow the rope. <laughs> Another blonde moment. It hurts to be this blonde at times. Now that I have my magnet, we're going to go to the other side. <laughs> it's been one of those days. All right, so we're gonna go here, and I'm just gonna, rookie mistake, get out of the way of your rope. If not, you'll get wet, <laughs> like my pant legs. So somebody wants to ask me why I like magnet fishing. All besides the obvious of cleaning up the environment. It's hard to say. You get this amazing, beautiful view. And knowing that you're helping the environment. Oh my goodness. This place keeps giving and giving because people keep dumping and dumping. Just it. Dragged it all the way from this area here all the way over here. So it's quite a distance. It's almost underneath the view so I can pull it up. Alright, so we'll pull right here. And it just let go. Mm. Well, we'll go fishing for it again. Ten minutes later, I'm still looking for it. I think that's the one that got away. Okay. <laughs> This is funny. <laughs> I can't stop laughing after this, this one. <laughs> Anybody want to play golf? I think this is a three wood. No, it's a five wood. Oh, 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 oh. Almost knocked you over. It's a champ shot. There's a golf course maybe five miles from here. Somebody got pissed off. Looks like not titanium shaft, so could be an older one. Of course, right towards the end of where I'm leaving, I think I found what I dropped. Let's hope. I got something. Oh yeah, I got a little something. Holy cow, what is this? <sighs> hmm, that doesn't look suspicious when it's got tape around that. What do you guys think? What was this used for? 
You can tell that it's been welded, but hmm, suspicious. I did get something. A magnetic rock. Look at this sucker. <laughs> that is so cool. That's like the biggest that I've ever seen. I'm gonna have to keep this bad boy. It's just who I am. I like weird things like that. One last toss and then we're gonna get out here. I gotta go get mini gem, so we'll see you in a bit. On the last final toss, I wound up getting a wire and a bolt and nut. A little screw so oh two little screws one right there and one right there so we'll catch you later <laughs>